Oh, forgive the throat. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment going on, so you have to forgive the the coughs or anything else that I come up with. Um, first, this is just a little tutorial on how to use Recycle to build up uh, a library of uh, beats and patterns that's instruments and patterns you'll see later as we go into the tutorial choppy beat up use you wouldn't recycle then save the sounds as a wave file as you can see I've already done it here but I'm gonna save it anyway export with a MIDI file I'm gonna bring up renoise re first thing we're gonna do here is open up the MIDI file from the beat you just chopped up get rid of all the rubbish that you don't need you really don't need any of this stuff right now first thing to do here is go to column and transpose it up 12 that needs to be done for it to fit with the instrument without you having to mess around with anything just generate drum kit in a minute you'll see uh, now I'm going to select down to 16 like so copy that create a new text file paste it in there close and save the text file Rename the text file. Uh, basically, what I've done here. Oh, basically, what I've done here is I've created my own my own uh, part files because I've always wanted parts in Renoise, so I can just lift parts in onto tracks wherever I want. Uh, you'll see how we use that a little bit later um, and as you can see I've, I've got a few that I've already made what we do now is go back to Renoise we we'll go to sample these are the samples from the, the chopped recycled beat that we made earlier <clears throat> excuse me so what we're going to do is select them all like so and then we're going to put them I'm going to put them in as an instrument. Now, as you can see, I can play, and as you can see, it was playing. But the issue is, we need to go to Instrument Editor and just click Generate Drum Kit once. Now, when you play it, it's a perfect chop beat. I know you can't hear it because I've got a dodgy sound card in this laptop that won't let me record the audio from the song and speaking to the microphone at the same time I will redo this tutorial eventually when I've got a better throat and I'll plug in a proper sound card and get it all going properly but for now this this will do all right so we've we've got our instrument here so now what we're going to do is save that there like so now the ideal way to do this is to actually <clears throat> excuse me is to actually go through the samples and listen to what they are and name them accordingly so that when you go to your instruments you can flip them open and they'll be named so you can just pull in say if you've you've got a snare from Amon or or from Apache a bongo or whatever you can just pull it straight in as an instrument already chopped for you right so let's get a fresh song going now uh, on the Reaper forum there's a guy who's a complete diamond 
he makes a lot of extensions for Reaper. Um, goes by the name of SWS on the forum over there. And he tonight has made me this little, very tiny executable specifically for this task. So what I can do is I'll bring up the executable. And as you can see, I've got my, my parts here. So I'll just click on dark, press open, go to the track, page continue, and now I've got the pattern in there. Now I'll bring dark, dark in, load it in as an instrument. As you can see, dark's on zero. The actual pattern's one. So I've got to uh, come over here and quickly whip them all over to zeros. Now that's playing absolutely perfectly. Now, you don't have to stop there. Obviously you can load a different pattern for a different drum kit and do the usual messing around stuff that you can do with slice beats in any other package using MIDI files and waveforms. But one thing, and the reason this is the reason why I actually wanted patterns and parts and such in Renoise, is because the power of literally just going to column and using flip, randomize, and humanize, it will completely rewrite the pattern for you but still sound very similar. So you can rotate through these and get some inspiration before you start putting in all your pattern commands for individual hits and so on. And it really is that simple. I can bring up, this is just a tiny little application he's made for me. I've now got Dirty. I can just paste that continuously. Drag the instrument in. Change that up to one. And now we've got two perfectly looped beats. That play great. And while I was messing around trying this out earlier. When I was using is executable that's when I started using the human eyes and everything and you really can get some mad stuff going on like I say next time I redo this tutorial we'll actually have some sound from Renoise and you'll be able to hear how good it actually does sound but uh give it a try see what you think I think it's a good way to chop beats it gives you as much control as you need as you can see the individual samples are there you can swap in and out stuff however you want works quite well I think in Linux Linux whatever you want to call whatever you want to call it um, you've got free cycle so this can be done pretty much for free as well anyway uh, I hope you enjoy it let me know how it goes Cheers.